up guys, it's Enrique here. In today's video, we'll be modding a controller with an LED mod from Extreme Rate. And for this mod, I went for the Robot White controller. Everything you will need is included in this kit. Along with some spare screws, one year warranty, and ways to contact them in just in case you need assistance. For this LED kit, I opted out for the full white combo, but they also have many colors to choose from. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check them out. We'll start removing the side panels with the wedging tool that's included. I'll be using my wild stick just to make things a bit faster. I'll also leave the link down below if you want to purchase one. Then removing the side screws. There'll be two on each side and one hidden behind the warranty label. I will have to say that any modifications that you do to a controller will void the warranty. We'll be removing the front plate, the back plate, and the analog sticks. And now to remove the D-pad, we need to remove the guard first by unclipping it from the bottom and then lifting upwards. Then remove the D-pad. Now on the top motherboard, we'll unplug these two connectors. And the tip that I'll be using to remove the inside screws will be at T6. Or you can use one of the screwdrivers included in the kit. There is two screws holding the top motherboard together. One on the bottom left and then one on the bottom right. After that, get your fingers between the two motherboards and pull towards you to separate the motherboards. You'll come across a headphone jack in between the two motherboards. Just place it aside for now. The bottom motherboard is held by six screws. One on the bottom right, one on the bottom left, one in the middle, and three on top. Now I completely forgot about the bumpers, so we'll go into that now. Now to remove them, we first have to remove the bumper guard. So you can use the wedging tool included in the box to wedge out the bumper guard. And since I remember about the bumpers at the very end, all the buttons will fall out because that was the only thing holding them together. But that's just a little human mistake that I made there. Now we'll remove the rubber padding. I won't be replacing the Xbox button because it actually matches the controller. Now it's time to add the LEDs. These circles are the controller buttons. So we'll have to align these circles with the openings with the LEDs like so. Remove the wax paper to expose the sticky side and place it down. And we'll repeat the same process for the side button, which is actually the B button. Now here's where I make another human mistake. In this bag, we have a very small cable along with the clear rubber padding. I tried to separate the cables with my fingers, causing the wire to strip. We can still do this mod without the cable, but the cable was actually going to be soldered down to the motherboard so we can control the LEDs at the same time we turn on and off the controller. So now we have to actually manually turn off and on the LEDs. It's just one step that we could have made easier to operate the LEDs. Now for the LEDs to get powered, we'll be sliding these tips underneath the positive and negative of the controller. And you can do this by pushing down on the positive and negative, lifting the base so you can slide in the tip. That sounds a bit weird, but that's how I did it. And now it's time to put the new buttons in. And then we can stick the LED rings around the analog sticks.
following by screwing down the bottom motherboard so that the buttons don't move around. And now we can place the headphone jack back in place. and then connecting both motherboards together. Following by screwing down the top motherboard back on. And let's not forget about these two connectors that have to be plugged back on. Like so. And I'm just testing out that all the buttons have a full press. Then we can place the bumpers back on. Along with the bumper guard. Following by placing down the D-pad, and placing down the D-pad guard. Now, when it comes to the LED rings, make sure that the LED rings are not in the way of the analog stick. After that we can put the back plate and front plate back on and then screwing them back together putting the side panels back on and in some batteries And we're done! Alrighty, so as you can see, I have already showed you guys how to mod the controller with an LED mod kit from Extreme Rate. Now, to operate this is super easy and super simple. As you can see, just hold the uh, options button for 5 seconds. And it should be turning on here in a second. And... No? Maybe? If you put the batteries right, maybe. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Whenever you put the batteries on right, it'll actually light up. And it looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty sick. You hold the options button for five seconds. The LED right now is turned on. It'll turn it off right now. All right. You hold it on. What? It's, yeah. For five seconds. There you go. It turns back on. Now, I do have two options of this mod kit. I have the this one right here, which is kind of like the, um, you know, the full on white. And then I have the full clear one, which pretty much is the same thing. But the buttons and analog stick and all that stuff, it's, you know, full on clear. Is it? <laughs> it doesn't have fucking batteries. So right here, to change out the colors on the... Uh, mod kit you pretty much hold the view and the options button at the same time for like, you know Just press it down and it'll change colors And so it's red Green blue yellow purple cyan You know that blue cyan and then this is the slow blink and Then this is a fast blink and back to red they both have the same colors and the same modes. Now, for this controller, I have no idea what happened. If you look closely, look at Beak. Okay, so that's the fading mode right there. That's the fast blink. Now that's just black, right? Well, that's supposed to be red. That is supposed to be red. And if you can see right here on the B button, it's red, but None of the other colors, I mean, none of the other buttons are working. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But if we change colors, they all work. And now if we change to blue, uh, they all works, you know. Now here, when it turns to, I think that will be yellow, B, it's red. So the wire that I ended up stripping off 
was the actual wire that connected to the motherboard that sent signal to turn on and off the LED mod kit whenever I turn on and off the controller. That's what happened. But you can still use this mod kit. And now I feel like there is a little bit of like inconsistency on the products working because for this mod kit right here, I did end up uh, using it with um, like the wires. I did not end up stripping the wires on this one. So this one's fully wired. Whenever you turn it on, you know, the controller on, it doesn't turn the actual LEDs mod on. But now if it's on, you know, and I turn the controller off. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. The LEDs are still on. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with these kits. Maybe I got two bad ones. I'm not quite sure to be honest. I know for sure that I did everything according to the instructions that I was given. <laughs> uh, maybe I did something wrong. If you see what I did wrong, let me know in the comment section below. Personally, I give it a four out of five for this LED mod kit, just because I feel like on both uh, mod kits that I got, there were some type of issues. Um, I'm not gonna say that it wasn't my fault. Maybe it was, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. <laughs> but just to run through, to turn it off, hold the options button on right here for five seconds. To turn it off, it'll completely turn off. To turn it back on, you hold it for five seconds. It's completely on. Now change colors, options and view button at the same time. And it works. Now, if you think this is going to drain your battery when it's not in use, it will not. I've been having it uh, like, you know, just turned off when we're not the LEDs on um, and it has not drained my batteries. There is some LED mod kits out there that even when you don't, you're not using them, it'll drain the battery from your controller. This one has not done it and I've been having it you know, fully finished for a long time now. But also guys, with that said, I will be giving two of these away. Uh, I have a black one and a full white one. If you want one, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for Christmas. So make sure to comment down below what you think I should be giving out on that giveaway. So that was it for this video guys. If you did enjoy it or was helpful in any way, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already. It's completely free and completely up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.